Greetings all you hobby horn dogs. Raj here, aka the Wisco Horn Dog, coming to you from my nerd basement. And today we got an update on the 100% paint challenge, and I have cracked the 80% mark. So how in the hell did I do this? Well, there is like one big thing that I did which uh, had a huge impact, and we'll get to that later, but basically I'm gonna go down through the list, kinda show you guys what I've been up to and what I've been doing to tackle this problem. We are coming up on the uh, WAPACA deadline, basically um, just about four weeks, I think, from when this video is being filmed, and I'm a little bit behind on the videos, so I'm in a, a pretty good position, actually, uh, maybe better than the 80% mark would reveal. But yeah, let's let's get to it. So starting with Infinity, I've got my Pano. I actually painted like three dudes. I got about three more. These are definitely going to be painted. I'm not selling any more dudes. Uh, I'm working on my 300 point ITS list for Wapaka playing on Saturday and usually I've learned this in years past you don't want to actually be having to paint models for your own I guess tournament it's not my tournament but it's my event and there's like a million other things going on and it really sucks ass so I was hoping to get these guys done earlier as always bullshit creeps up but I just got three dudes to do I've got Joan of Arc I've got this bot half painted and then I need to do a war core type model and of the ones I do have painted I'll probably start posting them on Twitter here pretty soon so keep an eye out for those the nomads I actually sold those on eBay in my latest big wrap-up bundle so the nomads they're pretty cool I think I would like to play them as a faction and originally I was just holding on to them they were the ice storm models and basically I don't really know what I what I'm going to be doing for Infinity next. Concentrating on the Pano stuff. I would love to go back to Nomads, but I don't think at this time I'm going to be doing anything. And I uh, just don't see myself going with Nomads for the next faction. So I and loaded those things. Okay, Chaos didn't really have that much left. Uh, I do have a couple things think that I'm currently selling on eBay but basically it's just all these individual cool models that I had left over from this call to glory campaign I don't know I think that's what I called it not this last spring but the spring before that right before Age of Sigmar hit we were doing kind of like a skirmishy chaos campaign with 8th edition it was super fun and we ended up putting together all these individual models like two Beastman Ungors, three Beastman Warriors, and I just don't see myself working on these or finishing them. I'm not going to sell them. I'm actually, um, towards the end of this, I'll tell you what's going on, but I'm gonna give away some of these models because I think they're really cool and they deserve a good home and I don't think they're necessarily valuable uh, enough to be sold on eBay, so I'm gonna be giving some away. So stay tuned towards the end of this and I'll explain how that's gonna work. Moving down, I got the Wood Elves. I've, I just had a bunch of Dryads, unassembled dudes that I kept thinking, yeah, I'm just gonna speed paint some Dryads for fun, do some new schemes. And basically all my for fun painting kind of fell by the wayside. I really <laughs> thought I'd be doing more of it, but um, yeah, just been working on so many other things that uh, just getting rid of these drives. I do have two Glade Guard left, which were models that I converted a long time ago. They're pretty cool. And there's these standard bears using the mummies from the uh, Screaming Skull Catapult. There's these like little shriveled little mummy dudes. And uh, so I got those dudes like strapped to a pole and there's a bunch of arrows sticking in them because my Wood elves are kind of these evil fucker wood elves, and I thought that was cool. So they've actually, they're fully assembled. They've been base coated. They've been dipped. They've been highlighted, the actual wood elf part of the model. And then, like, I just never finished the banner, dude. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish those two guys. Um, Chaos Dwarves, this is the big one, and 
um, the numbers haven't changed yet. In the next video, uh, we're, I'm going to be changing these numbers to reflect what I've been doing. But basically, I tried to sell these things. I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to do it. I'm already balls deep in all this infinity terrain that I need to do for Wapaka. I got this Fury Road stuff I'm working on for Gorka Morka type games, and I just didn't see myself getting to it. But when I was trying to sell them, I just couldn't sell most of them. The basically the infantry, they were when I picked them up, they were prime black. And I just had them in baggies, so now they're getting dinged up. And when they were primed, they were never really like fully primed either. So you can kind of see some silver and the cracks and stuff like that. And so when I was taking photos of them for eBay, they just look fucking horrible. And I kept thinking like nobody is going to buy them. You can't really tell what they are. Like I couldn't get the lighting so you could actually see the model. So they look like these black blobs with silver spots all over them. They look terrible. And I'm like, mm, I don't want, I don't want to give them away necessarily. But as I was going through everything, I was taking photos. I set them aside. I was going to keep them, and then I took more photos. Um, I'm going to keep the infantry models basically, and I'm going to be working to get them to a three three color minimum per uh, my guidelines for the pain challenge. So most of my stuff I've been spending a lot of time on, doing a lot of cool stuff. But for my personal challenge, I think I've said this on the podcast and in the Brolian video and everything else, but three colors, tournament standard minimum. That's what I'm shooting for, for this qualification. So everything else is actually currently on eBay right now. So if you're looking at this currently in the first week of January, if you look up Wisco Horn Dog on eBay, and maybe I'll put a link below if I remember to do that, the uh, you'll find the war machines and the monsters and stuff like that. And the idea behind that is they're pretty small and weedy and, and crappy looking. I mean, they are kind of like classic models, but if, if I'm gonna like kind of do this, put my own spin on it, I want to convert stuff. I like converting stuff. If you've seen a lot of my other models and the the infantry dudes is they're metal they're solid there isn't their beard and axe and there's not much else to them so there's not a lot of opportunity for a conversion there they I think they just look cool on their own but the the war machines and monsters i think you could definitely update those and kind of news you know newer bigger bull taurus it maybe from different companies and stuff like that and kind of have a vision of scratch building all these war machines like doing an earth shaker but you know kind of having it resemble the original earth shaker but just having it be way bigger and kind of just like pay homage to that I, I thought that'd be really cool so I am unloading kind of all the peripherals for the chaos dwarves and I'm just keeping the infantry so there's no change in the numbers currently but the next video will have those numbers in it and I'll probably be talking more about those chaos wars then okay so the big one is these fucking skaven so they've been like dead weight in these numbers pretty much the whole the whole time here and I think they kind of been distorting how bad the picture really was now I held on to them initially I had my first big sell off and I was kind of thinking that maybe I could do something with them for Age of Sigmar and the more I thought about it the uh, you know, I have a lot of basically most of it was giant rats and then ungors beastman ungors that I was converting to have skaven heads because I'm a fucking weirdo and the skaven for Age of Sigmar they seem to be about the big models and like weird clan skur war machines and stuff like that. So I didn't think it would be a very effective army per se. And um, I didn't want to have to come up with all these weird ideas because it's like a woodland theme Skaven of how they got these weird techie things. You know, I'd have to create tree low tech versions of all these big war machines and stuff like that. Kind of, yeah, I wasn't into it. And then I, I did have the Chaos Dwarves so that I knew that between those two, I definitely wanted to get in the Chaos Dwarves a lot more. So, unloaded all these fuckers. 
<laughs> so I've got five left, which are the kind of cool ones that I converted. And I'm not gonna do anything with these. I'm gonna give them away just like the beast man. So at the end, I will explain that. Uh, but I got rid of 313 friggin' models. Most of those were giant rats, teen little guys. So at the beginning, I did have a delusion that I could somehow paint all those and really improve my numbers. So yeah, I think just that Skaven kind of shift, shifted everything about 15% upwards <laughs> once I got rid of those dudes. Okay, Perry Minis. These really aren't Perry Minis. These are some Conquest Minis. Um, well, I guess guess they are Perry Minis. I sold off most of the unpainted Civil War dudes that I have. I did have these Conquest miniatures, which look really cool. They're kind of metal. They're French Marines that I was kind of using in my list for whatever kind of reason. I just like the models. And I had some Last of the Mohican dudes as well. So uh, most of these guys are gone. And I currently have the rest of them on eBay right now. Okay, so that was a big sell-off. So one thing is I'm kind of a dumbass. So you can see there's a new category, Silver Tower. So earlier when I was on Baby Leave, Parental Leave, Daddy Leave, I actually picked up the Silver Tower because I thought it was a great deal. And it is a great deal. And there's tons of cool models in there. And I thought it would be fun to paint up a lot of those dudes and kind of just like with my fun ideas kind of fell by the wayside in the quest to actually finish a lot of these and so <laughs> I picked them up I assembled them I primed them I think I dicked around on a grot scuttling maybe and now I don't know what the what the hell I'm gonna do with them um, I thought about playing the silver tower because it sounds fun but actually a lot of my buddies actually have it so we could still play it even without these models so i really don't see myself doing anything with these now the kind of shine has worn off on them so they are currently on ebay in individual lots right now um, and then i do have <laughs> i did paint some stuff now where where the hell are these dudes where are these little animals? Hold on one second. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Okay, so I did paint up some <laughs> Saga farm animals for terrain purposes, because I'm a weirdo. So I don't know if you can see these little dudes here, but check out this little cow. Got a couple, couple oxen. Yeah, the lighting is definitely shit down here. Um, and I got some ducks. So I'm counting those. Look at these fucking ducks. They're cool. <laughs> so that is six models. I am counting in the painted column. Snack on it. Um, so that is where we're at. Kraken, 80%. I am pretty pleased. I can kind of see the end in sight here. And I'm feeling pretty good about everything. So, okay, I mentioned uh, some giveaway stuff like that. So I currently do have eBay auctions open in the first week of January for Chaos Dwarves, some Conquest miniatures, the Silver Tower stuff, and I think that is about it if you're interested in that crap. Uh, now I am going to give away some of these miscellaneous cool models that I converted, but I'm, I'm not going to paint them. I'm not going to build like whole units of these guys. They're just fun, weird models. So I thought it would be fun to give them away. So I broke them into several different lots. I'm gonna post the pics on Twitter. And then if you want those models, all you have to do is retreat that pic. And um, I will pick one person within a 
maybe like 72 hours, three days, something like that. And I'll, I will just mail them to you if you are in the United States. I will cover the shipping, no big deal there. If you are outside the US, uh, you will have to cover your own shipping. But, um, so I'm gonna have a little Skaven lot. I'm gonna have a, some chaos, like warrior, mortal dudes, some uh, beastmen dudes that I converted up. And then I'm gonna throw a chaos dwarf in there. And then I have like a, <laughs> um, for some war gods Kickstarter, just a random war gods of Olympus model that I think looks kind of cool, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do anything with. So if somebody wants him, I will mail him to you and that'll be super cool. So cool. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. I will have the uh, Excel spreadsheet link below as always. And if you wanna do your own pain challenge, you can definitely, I've got some templates out there that you can mess around with. And um, yeah, let me know how you're doing if you, if you do take the step. It's really fun to see how many models people have out there. So definitely like and subscribe to this shit. It definitely helps me out. Tell a buddy if they have a big, huge collection of models and uh, you think they need to clean it out, show them, show them these videos, give them some inspiration. Become a hobby horn dog today.